Thank you, Peter. Thank you to the organizers of this one. I waited 12 years for this to happen, so it's been a while. Um, and uh, a couple of weeks ago, the first online meeting in German happened. Uh, uh, Silke did a little introduction at that meeting, and I asked her today, what, what should I say today? And she said, well, just tell them that this is not just some little idea, the beta codex. It's not just something somebody came up with. And that's what I want to do. So uh, here's the message. The beta codex is here to stay. It's not somebody that sprang from some person's head. It's just a, not just a tiny idea. It's a movement that has been going on for decades already. And I'm not exaggerating. Uh, of course, the beta codex movement or the beta codex network was founded in 2008, so 12 years ago. Uh, I founded it together at the time with Valeria, who might be in this uh, meetup as well. I haven't seen her yet on this, on this session, but uh, we both founded this thing together with Gephardt, another German guy, uh, 12 years ago. So I've been waiting for this moment for thanks to the organizers to make this happen. Uh, what I want to uh, show you and tell you a little bit about in these next nine minutes or so is uh, a little bit of the story of the Beta Codex. Uh, and the Beta Codex Network. And uh, it all began really 22 years ago. So this is a little bit of time traveling that I'm offering to you. 22, 22 years ago, the Beta Codex original first 1.0 version was created. The, the Codex, the 12 laws weren't there at the time, but the project started 22 years ago. And uh, I will try to show you this uh, as well here uh, on the screen a little bit. Uh, the beta codex movement is in its 22nd year, even if most of us, most of you maybe aren't available and just start with this right now. Um, so this is where it started in 1998. A research project was found, uh, founded in, in, in England and it was within an industrial association called ChemEye. They started founding this, giving some money in it, into it, but the first money to do this research, where the Beta Codex comes from, came from membership companies like uh, Siemens, Deutsche Bank, uh, were among the German participants at the beginning. So among uh, about 15 to 20 member companies paid like 10,000 euros a year at the beginning to get this research started. And these colleagues of mine at the time, the Beyond Budgeting Roundtable Directors, they started visiting companies and among the companies that they they were they were looking for companies that wouldn't have budgeting and at the time they say colleagues from the beyond budgeting roundtable they said we didn't know what to find what they found were companies that weren't so much different just in planning but they had totally different organizational models and what really changed the, changed the story in 1999 was the bank from sweden handelsbank uh, that was the first organization where the beyond budgeting models in full was discovered in 1999. That bank had already run this for almost 30 years at that point. Now they have been running it for almost 50 years. And, and this changed everything. So uh, the Beyond Budgeting Roundtable community founded by members, paying companies that founded the research and they had frequent meetings to talk about the model, just the kind of meeting that we are having. They discussed it life. They met in London and other places and uh, discussed the findings from the case studies they had, discussed it in, 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 in uh, one day, two day conferences and tried to distill the learnings from these meetings and from the cases. And what they found was a set of 12 principles. And they first published this in 2003. Uh, in th 2003, the first book about Beyond Budgeting at the time came out. Uh, my first book in German came out as well. So there were several publications over time and the research continued. We, we in the Beyond Budgeting Roundtable, of which I was a part until uh, 2007, we elaborated uh, around 25 case studies of companies that were doing this. Uh, some cases were better than others, like the Handelsbanken case stood out, then the Toyota case or the DM Dogerima case from Germany. Some cases stood out, some were good, some were enormously interesting. And then in 2008, we split the Beyond Budgeting Roundtable. I was a part uh, of that as a director uh, until 2007, but we had one big problem, which is also relevant to us here in this meetup today, I think. And that problem was we couldn't figure out if we wanted to act on this shit. 
on this stuff. We didn't agree if we just wanted to do research or if we wanted to make it happen in the world. And some within our group, Valeria, Gebhardt, I, and Robin Fraser, one of the original founding members of the Beyond Budgeting Roundtable, we thought, okay, we have to help organizations do this, get to beta, get to from pyramid to peach, from alpha to beta, from command and control to sense and respond. So we founded, we split, we had, a, we, had a, we had quite a few arguments. There was shouting within our group of researchers. And uh, then we split and um, some of us created what we then called the Beyond Budgeting Transformation Network and we rebaptized that into Beta Codex Network uh, just a year later. So in 2008, this network, the Beta Codex Network was founded. We rearticulated the 12 principles and we have been doing this. I did this together with Silke about two years ago again. So we added new concepts, we thought about transformation, how to make that happen. Uh, and we slowly, slowly developed more methods, more insights like org physics. Uh, and then over the last uh, couple of years, um, stuff like open space beta to really do transformation. So this has been a long story. You see here at the top of the slide, the development conception, conceptually what happened conceptually in the community and below you see what happened in terms of let's say community building. Yeah. And um, this has been a long story, uh, 22 years in the making. Uh, am I still, can you still hear me? Yes. This has been 22 years in the making. Um, the model is not just something that somebody came up with. It was developed from practice, shared among people, just the same thing that we are doing here, discussed, debated, argued. But the real question, I think, that we have to discuss now is to what to do with this. And that is an open question. I can only ask you this again, where are we going from here? That is the question that I would like to ask you. This is 2020. In the midst of Corona crisis, the question is, what do we want to do with this stuff? Because it's very interesting. We can learn it, it's fascinating. We can discuss it, we can argue, fight. But the big question is, do we want to turn organizations beta? And are we have, as a network, we define an answer to this question already 12 years ago. And I want to share this with you because I think this is key. Uh, uh, 12 years ago, we said the beta codex should be the standard of organizations. Organizations shouldn't be command control pyramids, they shouldn't be alpha. The standard model should be beta. Some stupid companies might remain alpha, but the most, the overwhelming majority of organizations should be beta. That must be our vision to help the world, to help all organizations in the world adopt this model, the beta codex, 12 principles and all the practices that come with it and all the mindset and ideas and stuff that comes with it, we as a network should help the world turn this into the standard model. And our mission should be as a network, that's just a proposal, I mean, you can throw this out of the window if you like, but that's the idea of this network originally, to be the key movement or the place to go to make this transformation happen as organizations, uh, as people in organizations who want to see this happening. So, uh, we have, we put this as a bold mission. We believed at the time, 12 years ago, and we had a big, a big fight about this. I remember some, some conversations about this. Isn't this too bold to believe that in the future, all organizations, with a few exceptions, stupid exceptions, still doing command and control, should be beta. Uh, we believed it in, at the time. I believe in it. Uh, I hope you want to believe in it too. Uh, uh, I hereby invite you to share the vision, to believe in it, and to do stuff for organizations, for the whole world, to adopt this beta codex as the normal organization of all. It is nothing radical, I believe. It is what all organizations should do. Thank you very much. Thank you for the opportunity to share this little idea. Uh, I hope uh, we, get, we have a great meetup uh, around these ideas and that we can develop the ideas a little bit further over the next couple of days, weeks, month. And I'm looking also forward to all your ideas and concepts like this online uh, meetup. Further ideas, further concepts that we can, uh, can use to, to promote the Beta Codex as a standard organizational model. Thank you very much. And over back to Peter, I think. <laughs>